Okay, it's another season of Surface devices. We have the Surface Pro 8 here, and we're going to look at the throttling characteristics of it. Um, you'll notice I have the Surface Laptop Studio over here doing some uh, GPU videos, uh, testing this out quite a bit. Uh, but for now, we're going to focus on the Surface Pro 8. And I want to show you something because we have a full load here, uh, like we test every year. And, well, every year there's a new Surface design out. And check it out. The Surface engineers have really outdone themselves. So the Surface Pro 8, total redesign on the chassis, and it has a lot more mass. So it has uh, 0.3 or so uh, more pounds. Uh, so it's, it's a chunky boy uh, compared to the other one, even though it feels a little more svelte in general because of the rounded corners but it is heavier and that translates into more mass to be absorbed by heat so check it out package power right now is maintained we are running uh, pi and graphics i wanted to load the gpu and the cpu at the same time uh, to see how it would act and it is able to maintain a full 20 watts look guys no fan no fan on this thing. Um, 20 watts, which is great. Um, previously on the Surface Pro 7, Surface Pro 7 Plus, we saw that it um, basically throttled down to about 14, 15 watts. So we're getting a full, well, almost a full 5 watts uh, over the previous generation of performance. And that's on, you know, we have a little bit more advanced hardware here too. A little more efficient, more work done per watt in general. So I haven't tried this yet. I'm gonna drop the fan on it just to see what happens. Um, 20 watts of performance with without doing anything, that's actually really great. These chips are rated for 15 to 28 watts. And um, I think in, a, in an air-conditioned room, we'll, we'll see what happens when I put the fan in it, but in an air-conditioned room, you, this might actually hit 22, 23, could even do 28 uh, all the time, which is, awesome uh you can see it does peak though right now we, we are running everything at max to hold it back and you know throttle it as much as as possible with a gpu load and a heavy cpu load uh just to see what happens but let's go i'll 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 quit yapping a little bit so i've started up this fan let me zoom out a bit and we're just gonna see what it i'm just gonna hold that fan back behind the device and I'll zoom it back in so you can keep an eye on the watts. And uh, maybe they'll change, maybe they won't. Uh, this is the first time I'm doing this. So I saw it pop up to 20.5 there for a second. Okay, we're at 21. So at least it's moving. It's still it still is controlled somewhat by the temperature of the back of this device. Um, now if I need to, I may just be quiet here and see how high it goes after holding this, uh, just because I don't want to waste your time watching me wave a fan at this thing. But I will say it is a little bit harder to do because it doesn't have a USB-A plug on this thing anymore because it's both uh, Thunderbolt ports. So we are at 23 watts, still improving. 24, 25, 25.3. You know, everyone, everyone kind of complains about Surface device. Oh, they only have 15 watt, watt processors in them. They need 35 watts. But, I mean, 28 watts in how efficient uh, CPUs are now, I mean... Okay, we're at 20. We're at 28 watts, my friends. Uh, normally, with a fan on previous generations, we've only been able to get you know maybe 20 to 22. We're at a full 20, 29 watts. We're we're exceeding uh, the rating of the chip with this small fan on here. Um, I don't know how high this thing's gonna go. It's oh 30 30 watts. <laughs> Surface engineers, did you make this device for me? Oh, that is freaking awesome. We're almost at 31. 
So that's a lot of performance, guys. 30, this, it's just going to keep going. 31.3 watts. And, oh, the other thing I, that I didn't mention is, look, look at our temperature, 72 degrees. Now you're like, well, that sounds hot, but the other, other surfaces would hit 90 degrees almost instantly, like all the time. 82 degrees Celsius max. Right now we're at 72. On previous devices, when you put a fan on the back, it would actually let the CPU clock higher, which made it hotter. This thing's just sitting at 73, 75, 30, 33 watts. Oh my gosh. I, I am super impressed, if you can't tell. Um, so, uh, performance monster on Surface Pro 8. That is amazing, and uh, thank you, Surface Engineers. I, I, I hope some of you have watched my videos and were waiting for me to do this to see what my response would be because this is just out. This is, this is outstanding. Uh, this type of performance is really quite, quite amazing. Um, we're, we've got our 35 watt processor here, guys. In case you were in doubt. So I'm gonna. It looks like we're we're tapping out <laughs> at 35. 35 package watts sustained with this with this fan on here. So, um, anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. Um, I mean, I still have some time to spend with this Surface Pro 8, but so far, guys, man, I I am loving this thing. The screen is a big step up, uh, larger. Uh, the little pen in the trackpad. There's a great update, it charges the pen. Um, I am very thrilled with this Surface Pro 8 so far. So anyways, um, go ahead and subscribe. We'll have lots more video comparing the Surface Pro 8 to the Surface Laptop Studio and the ROG Flow X13. I've got some eGPU sitting in the back there that we will uh, have some fun with on both these devices. Um, and I'm gonna tell you, I think that eGPU is gonna be an awesome pair with the Surface Pro 8 at 30, 35 watts. So uh, anyways, go ahead and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next video.